how narcissists react when you leave. When you leave the narcissist, it's going to cause them anxiety, sorrow and pain. It's going to make them miserable. It's going to make them suffer because they've lost their source of supply. They've lost their source of stability and security and they are struggling without you because you were their emotional punching bag. They took all of their problems out on you. They blamed you for everything. They used you for money and for a place to stay. And it's not easy for them to find someone who is willing to do that for them. They may try to find someone to replace you but they will just end up with manipulators and con artists. People who are just looking out for themselves. People who will just use them for money or sex. They're not going to find anything of substance. They're not going to find someone who believes in their lies. Someone who validates the illusions of their false self. Someone who is predictable. Someone who makes them feel comfortable. It's not easy for them to just move on and replace you. So when you leave they will experience the unpleasant effects. Because they have lost their supply. They have lost something that they were addicted to. They're no longer getting their needs met. Because it's not easy for them to find someone who can do everything that you did for them. But they are arrogant and audacious. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They think they're greater than they actually are. And they are willing to take bold risks. Because they engage in magical thinking. So they will blame you for everything. They will tell themselves that it was all your fault. And then they will actually believe that they can do better than you. But it's not real. It's all a fantasy that they have created inside their head. It has no basis in reality. So they will go forward with these false ideas and impressions in their head. They will act like they're so wonderful. And as though they found the perfect person and they're so happy without you. But it's all a facade. It's all one big illusion. They're never going to let you see what is really going on. Because they can't be vulnerable. They see it as a sign of weakness. Which is why they're never going to let you know how they really feel. They're always going to give you the illusion. To make you think how they want you to think. So that they can feel better about themselves. So that they can get supply. They want you to see them as their superior being, as someone who is greater than you, as someone who is very important. And they will show an overly high opinion of themselves, as though they're doing better without you. But they're not really doing better without you. They just have a weak, fragile ego. They have an inconsistent self-esteem. An unstable self-image built on a weak foundation. So they don't want to show you things that aren't going well for them. They don't want you to know that. Which is why they will go off and find anyone they can. 
To show you that they are living their best life without you. To show you that you are causing all of their problems. You are the one who is to blame. You are the cause of their suffering. But it's all a fantasy. It's all an illusion. It's something that they have created inside their heads. Because they can't accept blame. They don't want to deal with the consequences of their actions. They have too high an opinion of their abilities and worth. Which is why they will never show you what they're really going through. They will only show you what they want you to see. But the truth is that they are going through it. They are struggling without you. They just don't want you to know about it. But they're addicted to people. People are their drug of choice. They use people to make them feel better about themselves. It's an addiction. So you should already know when they're going through something. Because they will move on very quickly. They will be dating new people. They will be going out with their friends every night. Because they're just trying to find a way to feel better. But it never lasts long. Because people begin to see what they're trying to do. They begin to see that they're just a pawn in the narcissist chess game. They begin to see through the illusion. When you leave the narcissist, it will cause a narcissistic injury. They will get very angry and they will try to destroy you. They will try to make everyone think that you are a bad person, even after everything you did for them and everything they did to you. They're very good at playing the victim and making up a story. That's how they got with us in the first place. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.